morning everyone, Carol here at Ocast Journals and as always a very big warm welcome from me and I've got one of the quickest and easiest projects I've ever done um, to show you today and it's this five pocket bookmark so if I show you, there's our first pocket down at the bottom there is another pocket here that that goes in if I flip it over there's a pocket along the back there's another one here so there's two on the back, two on the front, and then there is also room for a pocket up here. Now I say this has to be the quickest and easiest of projects because the only thing you need for this project actually is a pair of scissors. You don't even need glue, you don't even need a bone folder, you can finger crease if that's what you want to do. Um, now I do choose to use a bone folder and I do choose to use glue but as I say you don't have to. So let's get started. What I've got here is a piece of, this is 1912 vintage um, ledger paper it's German and it's absolutely gorgeous it's a little bit fragile so I will be very carefully um, creasing it when I do actually crease my um, folds into place and that's what I used to make this little one as you can see here um, but you can use any paper I would suggest you use something round about 80 to 120 GSM um, nothing thicker because there are quite a few layers um, when you do your folds and obviously that adds bulk to a journal but um, there is a quick fix and it's what I've used in um, mine when I've made mine to actually cut down the amount of bulk and make them really manageable and I've used really heavy cardstock as my example tags in here so you can see that's not particularly um, fat it's no thicker than a, a flip or a fold or something like that in a journal but let's get going what I've got here is a sheet of paper and it measures 18 centimeters across the top by 30 centimeters in length now this has come from an ancient um, vintage ledger as I say and therefore I have the the length here um, or the luxury to be able to cut it to 30 centimeters now I know that a a4 sheet of paper is 29.5 I believe centimeters that will work but you don't want to reduce it in length too much um, shorter than the 30 or 29 centimeters if you can manage it right so all you need to do is take your piece of paper and fold it in half and you're working in the um, landscape orientation not the portrait which is the smaller orientation so fold it in half once down the middle and then fold the outside edges back into the middle and then fold it up again and you get a piece like like that okay so now you want to turn it to portrait orientation and what we're going to do is we're going to take this top right hand corner and we're going to fold it down the center crease so I'm just going to reinforce that crease and all you do is put your finger on the crease and fold it down now do not fold it exactly into the crease just leave about a millimetre um, away from the crease okay now this is where you can decide if you want to reduce the bulk or not um, when you're making this so what you want to do now is fold the bottom up to this point here now if you fold that outside right hand crease in you want to take your bottom of your paper and just fold it up to where that diagonal crease meets this crease down here now I've got a very handy um, line going across the top of my ledger paper that I can use and you just want to put a crease all the way along the bottom now that you've done that crease along there what you want to do is you want to cut away this portion here and this portion here from the crease line so if I bring it up to the camera I've got a crease line going across there and then I've got this big one coming down here and 
it's this portion here that you cut away and on this side again you've got the crease line coming down here and the one going across the top there you want to cut that portion away now I've already done this so I'm going to bring in my piece where I've cut it and as you can see I've cut away those two outside portions there and there's my two pieces of scrap so now what you want to do is keep that piece folded down turn it round so that it looks a bit like um, an arrow and you fold in this piece to the center line you fold it up along the center line and this piece you bring down towards you okay so you should end up with a little diagonal pocket coming into place just here now this is where you can glue it if you want to and I am as I say choosing to glue mine so what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of glue along that edge and along that edge and I'm just folding it over like so and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a press just very gently because this is quite fragile this paper with my bone folder and that is part of your back pocket okay flip it over to the other side now what you want to do is fold it up where that crease was that you made previously and I'm just going to give mine a little burnish just put your finger on the bottom left hand corner and you're taking this edge here and you're bending it along that edge so I'm just going to pull that over like so and make a crease okay let me show you that again so this is our front I folded up the bottom at the crease that we made and putting my finger in that bottom left hand corner I'm just pulling my piece of paper over like so okay and that gives you that diagonal piece across the bottom so now just flip it over to the back and take this piece and just fold it across the bottom there just square I'm just going to turn that round so that it face me as you can see like so just folded it over and then I'm flipping my piece over again back to the front because there's that piece and this piece and I'm just going to fold this portion across the front like so now this is where you can choose to add more glue if you want before you go any further so what I like to do is now that I've got all those folds in place as you can see I just like to put a dab of glue along this inside portion just along the edge you don't have to do much inside just to hold it in place okay so now I'm bringing my bottom piece up to the front again holding that bottom corner doing that front fold and I'm putting a little bit of glue in there just to hold it this piece will still come down you can glue along this edge if you want to but you don't need to and then I'm flipping it over again as you saw a little bit of glue along the bottom down here taking this bit across the back going round to the front and now what you do with this piece is you take this corner this one here and you fold it down this edge here and again you don't want to be going right into the crease you want to leave about a millimeter maybe two at most away from this edge here so I've just folded it over you don't need to glue this and then I'm taking this edge and I'm just going to tuck it under here 
like so. And pop it in, just giving it a little helping hand with my bone folder. And there's our project. It's done. It's that easy. Now, as I say, you don't need to glue, but if you don't glue this bit, then this will be an open flap, this bit here. And I like it to be a pocket. Also, you don't need to glue these pieces, but I just think it makes things a little bit more secure. And by putting a bit of glue across the bottom, it stops that um, being open at the bottom and it makes it a proper pocket. And actually, I need to touch more glue there. As you can see, my bone folder went all the way through. So I'm just going to, you can do it after the event, as you can see here, as I'm doing. But I tend to like to do it once I've done those, those folds. So I'm just going to give that a gentle burnish. And there we have it. So if I take out my cards, you have one pocket there, your second pocket there, square one on the back there, and another diagonal there. And as I say, what you can do is you still, this top edge is open, and it is open all the way down your bookmark. So you can have a third pocket, um, sorry, a fifth pocket there if you wanted to. Now these are brilliant if you just want to use them as um, pocket bookmarks in your journals. Um, or you could maybe paper clip them in if you wanted to. Um, or if you don't want to use the back pockets, you could just glue that to your page and just have a pocket there and a pocket there. So I haven't decorated these any further for the simple reason that I actually love seeing the vintage um, book um, ledger paper. So I love them just as they are um, without any further embellishment on them. Um, but you can do any sort of embellishment that you like on these. Um, the world's your oyster. It really is with these little um, uh, bookmarks. There you go, I'm just popping mine back in there, like so. Really quick, really simple project today. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.